At Independent Television and Radio, Communications Village, Igwosa, Oluku, the children were full of excitement as they went round the different departments of the broadcast station. Numbering about 146, the students were accompanied by 10 teachers and taken round by a staff of ITV and Radio, Mr. Pris Usadebame. The departments visited include newsroom, master control room, radio studio, library, and the base of the mast. We sent reporters to the field to gather these stories. Now we send them, the cameraman will go, we send the reporter attached to the cameraman. When they return back, they do set the new story. The people sitting here, they are called duty, continuity, announcer. The students and their teachers said their knowledge of broadcasting has been enhanced. They thanked the management of independent television and radio for giving them the opportunity to tour around the facilities. Part of Evana schools and they brought me here to see a very fascinating event. Everything was wonderful, everything was lovely. I want to say a big thank you to ITV, thank you very much. I also learned that in the transmission house, the reason for those AC is to cool off the machines. I would tell ITV a big thank you. During the course of the excursion, I learned where the studio, where different activities are carried out. I learned about the transmitting room. I want to thank ITV for giving us this great privilege to come here for an excursion. For us, it was an exposure. Most of the things we've learned in the four walls of the classroom, the kids were able today to see for themselves how the news comes on air, how they go live on radio, and how cameras are used, and a lot of those gadgets. So by the time we get back to school, and these things have been taught to them in the classroom, it's really like an edge for them. They can deliver more and understand better when the teachers are actually talking about these topics in the classroom. Ivana Vision Academy is located at number 18, Agbedion Street, Benin City, Edo State. Pius Nsogo, ITV News.